What is up, guys? My name's Jackal. We're here to continue our blind run of Pokemon Red. Last time we got our fourth motherfucking gym badge. Hell yeah. That's what life's all about. And now we're going to continue. Now, I remember hearing that over yonder there was like a... Like, bike path sort of deal. Bike path dealio. But before we do any of that, we're going to get ourselves some equipment. Get ourselves some potions. Alright, these are TMs. Wait, wait. Alright. Get a bunch of potions. Two more revives. Ooh. That's a bummer. Alright, get rid of Ether. Aww. Don't even get anything for it. No, that's not gonna get rid of A. Shit. All right, real quick. Let's go back to the... Let's go back to the Pokemon Center. Let's go throw some, sh some shit in the computer. <coughs> oh, God, I'm starting to sweat. It is now officially that time of year out by where I live, where it's hot and humid, even though it is 10.30 at night. still like 80 degrees outside. There's some states that are even worse than that. And I tell you what, I couldn't live there. All right. Moonstone, throw it in there. I didn't want to throw the town map in there. I'll grab it back out in a second. Um, nugget, I can sell. Lift key, don't need that. A TM, just throw it in there. And then I'll sell the Nuggy. Alright, cool. And then Ivysaur I will eventually... Give him that rare candy when he gets to level 40. When I go to evolve him. As I've said other times before, why am I waiting till 40 to evolve him? There's really no reason. I wish I could say there was. I did it when I was younger. I always thought it was nice to have my starters evolve, evolve at 20 and 40. I always thought it was just nice. It's dumb. There's probably no reason to do it. But, you know, here we are. Alright, we'll buy three revives. Two paralyzed heals. Two awakenings. I haven't got anybody that really burns or ices me to where I need, like, where it's a status ailment. So, if I don't need to do that, I'd rather not. Nope. Sleeping Pokemon still blocks the way. I guess they're so much for that cycling road. Well, I guess we're going to go officially all the way back around and go see what's up at the uh, tower. Oh, Pokemon are in here. Well, a Spiro. Alright. We don't want to be training or... Oh, I guess... There we go. Whatever. Whatever! 
We don't want to be grinding too much. Lest our Pokemon here stay over leveled. But we got this Sylph thing. We'll be able to see the ghosties. Which was the original reason we had left that area in the first place. Oh, wait. Yep, that's what it is. <coughs> I'll share this drink with the other guards. Daff nasty. And then I'm also going to have to remember to grab the town map out. Now, you know what? I don't think I need to do that. I should actually be fine without it. And I think I can put away the coin case as well, because I don't think I'm going to be... Swerve. I don't think I'm going to be doing the uh, casino anytime soon. Withdraw. Town map. And then deposit. Coin case. Alright, cool. Do, 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 do. Um, 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 no, no, no. All right. So last time we beat our, our rival's ass in here. And we still got trainers. Sweet. Extra experience. Dun, 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 dun. That's really unfortunate. Jesus Christ. All right, that's cool. All right. I always have to avoid that nightshade. Jesus Christ. Oh, 660. It's not quite the number I was looking for. Kick, kick, kick. Yeah! <laughs> what? All right. I was going to say, let me guess. You got a ghastly. Ooh, this one's level 24, though. Ooh. Nope. Does not do much at all. Is ghost weak or strong to grass? That's going to be annoying. So it is. Well, that's cool. I'm going to throw out Gyarados real quick. Fuck you, lady. There we go. All right. All right. Maybe I am gonna, in one of my other playthroughs, gonna want a fucking ghastly. Jesus Christ, that's the kind of fucking firepower they're throwing around. God damn. Ooh. 
Oof, man. It is toasty. I paralyzed a ghost. Oh, man, goddamn. Yeah. Jesus Christ, you guys are fucking savage. God damn. What about this? But bug is super effective on ghosts. All right. Whatever. Done trying to figure this shit out. Right in front of the grave. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think like physical, a lot of physical attacks, like normal attacks, work on ghosts. So leech life, no. Er, yes, because it's bug, but Giga Drain, no, because it's grass. Hmm. Oh, wow, really? Why does Lick paralyze you? I mean... I guess if one of the ghosts licked me, I'd be paralyzed too. Alright, this is what we bought these paralyzed heals for. I mean, it wasn't, but, you know, like... We got them, motherfucker! That's what they're for. Alright. What's this first? An escape rope? Don't even want that. All these... Channelers. All just fucking... Speaking in tongues over here. Bro, when I see videos of, like, religious people speaking in tongues... I remember the first time I saw that shit. I, for real, had to sit there wondering, like, are these people for real? There's no possible way these guys are for real right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh. Oh, hey, look at that. You get to see a picture of my daughter. Lucky you. But yeah, no, the first time I saw people speaking in tongues, I was like, this has to be a joke. Like, there's no actual way these people are doing this and, like, being for real. And then you find out that these people are for real. I don't know, I just have, like, maybe too much of, like, an internal sense of shame to do shit like that in front of everyone. Don't you dare paralyze me now. Either electricity is not that good against ghosts, or it's magic, or it's uh, special is really high, or mine is incredibly low. I'm re really willing to bet bet either on that right there. There we go. All right. Anything in the little suspicious cove? No. All right. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Be cursed with me. No. Well, this one's not speaking in tongues. These guys are... 
not exactly the easiest. Uh, yeah, we'll just do leech. Oh, fuck, he's confused. God damn it. I just watched it happen. I got stuck thinking about something, and then next thing I know, I'm hitting myself. Golbat is just, like, biting his own face. God damn it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Refill on some of that health. I wish you were filling up a little more. Oh my god. Alright. Fry him. Just everyone getting a piece. Alright. I don't know what Dragon Range is going to do to you, but... A good amount. It doesn't really look like a licking animation. If I'm going to be totally honest there, buddy. It definitely looks wet. Getting some ghosted showers. Damn, these guys really making me fucking work on this uh, potion usage. Holy shit. Alright. Ivysaur hasn't gotten to have some love in a minute, even though he's still gotten more love than everyone else. And Elixir, okay. And Awakening, also okay. You. Beat me not. That is some translation right there, boy. I tell you what. Dang it, Bobby. Alright. Grass is not very strong. Jesus Christ. What about Vine Whip? Is that better? Is that worse? I don't even know. Come on. Come on. Oh my god, you fucking asshole. Oh, thank you. That is not a lot of experience to be taking that much of an ass whooping. I'll have to find myself buying some more goddamn super potions here. That is not who I wanted to heal. Well, Pikachu, you're healed, I guess. I don't even know if I was going to use you again by the end of this, but we're using you now. So Mega Drain is considered a grass. How does it do less damage on you than it did the one that a trainer had? I'm so confused. Me too. Me too, buddy. Ah! Ivysaur. Ivysaur, bro. 
You're fucking killing me, dog. Looks like Ivy Sword, you're not gonna get any training in here. I thought your higher up level would be able to uh, do a little bit here. Bruh. This game is being a little infuriating right now with these fucking ghost Pokemon. Now I'm confused and paralyzed. God damn it. Holy shit. Bro, this guy confusing everyone. I hate you. Oh, there's only one person that can get this, unfortunately. And fortunately. Alright, we may be stuck uh, using an escape rope here in a minute. Creepy ass ladies. Oh hey, wanna guess what Pokemon I got? It's a fucking ghastly! Alright, bye, you fucking useless bastard. I love you, but you're not just you're just not cutting it right now, fam. The bubble beams. Level 35, there we go. Ivy Sword's evolving? Guess what? Not yet, he's not. He'd probably be able to take this shit down if he was a Venusaur. You know, I'm definitely only hindering myself, but... I'ma do it. I'ma do it like I did when I was a kid. Nope, that's fine though. You can just get. Just do some experience share. Rage of Dragons. Bro, this Nightshade move is fucking brutal! So fucking nasty. Oh my god. Oh shit, a Cubone. Don't worry, Cubone. I'll be your mama now. Got him. The lonely Pokemon. Alright, uh, we're using uh, an escape rope. We are very quickly running ourselves. Ooh, this took me to the other Pokemon Center. That's a bitch. That's a real bitch. I 
I mean, not really. In all reality, it's the minorest of inconveniences. But we'll go back to the store, we'll buy ourselves some more shit. And then we'll get back to where we were, and then we'll cut it out from there. And go in here to the Pokemon Center, so that way if I, anything happens again, I can just hopefully escape rope myself to this Pokemon Center instead. I want the creepy music playing while I'm in this town. And this is the creepiest music of all. I think that's what we need to do to be able to warp here, right? Right? Do, 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 do. More creepy music. All right. Let's see how this ends up going the next time here. Yeah, tomorrow might be the last day I'm playing Pokemon here for a little bit. Just because I'm going to be... On Thursday, I should be able to get myself to the final dungeon of The Legend of Zelda. And I'm going to take a small little hiatus once that happens, because I want to finish Zelda, basically just continue playing until Zelda's done. Except for Saturday when I talk about Bojack and I play some Soul Blazer. Oh, a critical hit. Oh, thank you. That's so nice. And that was short-lived. Yeah, so I'll probably play Pokemon again tomorrow. Thursday, I'll play some Zelda like I do. And assuming I beat level 8 and have everything prepared up for the final dungeon, I should be set. And then Friday, I should probably just be playing more Zelda. Fuck you and your confusion. Um, but Friday I'll probably be just playing more Zelda until that shit's beaten. I doubt I'll have it beat by, I doubt I'll have that shit beat by fucking Friday. No way. It'll take me at least into Sunday, maybe even Monday. Which means I'm gonna have to figure out a game to play... To replace it. Bro, all these ghastlies fucking confusing my Ivysaur. Leave him alone. Come on, crit. Fuck you. Perfect. Perfect. But I should, I should be there. Yeah, we'll see what'll replace it. I'm very unsure. I don't even know what I'm feeling. Road is so hot and muggy in my car. It's fucking disgusting. I officially hate this time of year. Alright, cool. Well, we're gonna save the game right here because we're right back where we left off. Next time we get to the top of this tower because I forget what's in here. And uh, once we figure it out, we'll figure out where to go from there. Hopefully it has something to do with because I've heard about the flute that wakes up Pokemon, 
And uh, I remember that's what Snorlax, Snorlax needs is the polka flute. So hopefully I find something to wake his fat ass up. Now see, Snorlax would be a good Pokemon to have. He would be a real good Pokemon to have. Ooh. I don't know if I'll use him in this file, but he'll definitely be worth considering. Alright, well, until next time, guys, that's enough of me ruminating and you guys listening.